What up, G? What up, H? What's going on, bro? Oh, it's all good, sir. Yeah. It's hot as a motherfucker, bro. Dude, we're having summer full on. How can we have 25 degree weather? It was, it was almost 30 degrees earlier. Nah, man. Whoever's controlling the weather, hold on. <laughs> like, chill a little bit. Yeah, yeah man. So, where we at, dude? Episode 29. Episode 29. Episode 29? Yeah, we're going, eh? Yes! It's quite far. One more to the, to the dirty 30s. To the dirty 30s. <laughs> Yeah, man, and if you can see, I don't know whether you can see in the background right now. So where we're at is um, at the Hector, Hector Peterson Memorial in Orlando. It's pretty dope for it to be, you know, our first guest. Dude, there's so much that works with right where here. we are right now <laughs> and, and how it worked out, man. So I, I mean, for the youth, we everything about youth. June 16, you know, it's, it's what it's up. Yeah, Hector I mean, Peterson, started, what he started. fought for. I mean, what everything, you know, they, what, it, what they stand for with everything. Dude, so, it, like, it's so befitting. So yeah. that's where we are, that's where we at. Yeah. And now we're going to introduce our guests. So I think last week we did discuss it. Yeah. That we're going to be introducing guests on a weekly basis, but not just any guests. Yeah. Entrepreneurs doing things in their own space. Entrepreneurs doing big things. Big things in their own yeah. space. And remember, we told you guys who are not orthodox and who don't fit into the box, our first guest is exactly that. Yeah. So without a further ado, let's bring him in. Mr. Tammy. Mr. Hungry. Hey, what's up, my boy? What's up, my boy? Kevin. <laughs> We've been talking about having this conversation for, for, quite, a for quite a while right now, indeed. So I'm glad we actually made the time to, to get together yeah. and have this little chat. You're officially the first guest in the new format of the show. <laughs> no pressure, No bro. pressure. No no pressure. pressure. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, who is Tommy? Where are you from? Why is this such a special place that we're sitting in <laughs> right now? <laughs> Tommy, Papa. Uh, known as Pasta. Yeah, <laughs> so Pasta. That's the Pasta. other Yeah, grew up in the streets of Orlando, West so I just have a love for business, guys. Love for business. Yeah. It's I think it's, it's in your blood. It's who you are. It's who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I have, if I could take it back, I started from primary school. I used to sell. Maybe no, no one knows the story. Yeah. No, not even you. <laughs> I I used to. I think it was in grade four. Yeah. Me and my friend used to do dough yeah. and sell pizza slices for 250 a slice. Jeez. That's way back. So now you're talking about 20, 20, 20 years ago at least. 20 years ago maybe. Yeah. So, that there. So, the, so the business has been in your blood for a long time. Business has been in my blood time. for the longest time. I knew that it wasn't me but yeah. I knew that it, I just needed a push in the, in the right direction. Ah, if you get me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the right direction. Okay. My second business, I think, was a tutoring company. Yeah. Yeah. We used to tutor math, math literacy, physics, yes. life science, accounting, economics, to grade 10, 11, and 12. I was only 18 or 19. So you were just out of high school as well? Out of high school. Yeah. My first. So the knowledge is still fresh. Yeah, the knowledge is still fresh. Yeah. So because you know, after you leave high school, that knowledge just goes. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a so major like, nose dive. I was like, okay. So you made that into a business as well. So like, I had friends from Vits. Yeah. They were doing accounting and stuff. Physics was like, yeah, I can see a market in this thing. So okay. how about I take my friends, I hire them, and then I get, uh, I get. Students around from this area, Orlando West yeah. High School, just a hustle at first. Yeah. But eventually, it all fell uh, into place. Fell into yeah. place. Jeez, man. So you were already employing people over 10 years ago, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, How does that feel, dude? It's, like, it's, you, you, you've technically been someone's boss for what is it, like a good 10 years? Ten, at least. Yeah, because when we was when we first started with this company of tutoring, yeah. The first time I paid someone yeah. it was uh, some guy from Zimbabwe. Yeah. He used to tutor geography. Yeah. He was an uh, old man. <laughs> I was like, what, what the hell am I doing now? <laughs> I'm, this Yo. guy, I'm, I'm his employer actually. Yeah. I, had, I paid him, I think because I used to pay him 500 grand yeah. uh, per week. Oh, a week. Per week. Yeah. Come on, please, you know. Jeez, that was cash. 
<laughs> we've gone from clearly the pizza in in the school days pizza, and the pizza dough catering catering, catering, catering <laughs> and then now we we to tutoring, tutoring, tutoring <laughs> and then uh, so that lend, that ends you up sort of you out of high school right now uh, what happened then did you follow any studies did you go and study or was was your plan always just to go down the business route what was the next step in your journey my plan was always to go via the the business route. Okay. But it wasn't, I, I won't lie, it wasn't easy. Yeah. From the, I used to own a shop, there in Zola, yeah, Zola. Yeah. Deep, deep Zola. Yeah. Do you know how I, I bought stock with maybe 40,000? Yeah. Do you know how I left everything? I bought Ama, I bought sound, stage tent, couches. So now you're moving into eventing, uh, right? Eventing now. <laughs> yeah. So now it was first sh shops, and then after that was events. Yeah. And then it didn't work out. I had to leave that and do something else. Yeah. So I was now exposed to this world to currently. Yeah. And I'm I'm loving it. Okay. At the moment I'm currently. I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. How is the eventing? It's busy, eh? Eventing is busy, <laughs> it's demanding. <laughs> and people are full of shit. Let's be honest. People will take you on like, literally like, <laughs> like a person with, with high couches and I just leave them there, outside. It's so raining, it's raining. It's raining. It's, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. Because yeah, it's not their stuff. Not, not their stuff after all. Yeah. So, yeah. Jeez, that's a problem. Yeah. So that's the issue. And we're back. Events was was she taught me that it's hard. It's hard to be in, in a business when you're young. And just starting in yeah. the yeah. In the business, it's, it's it's quite difficult yeah. because especially when it comes to big businesses. Yeah. How to hire your staff? Yeah. They will screw you over, like <laughs> literally screw you over. Yeah. I know one one uh, big guy who messed me up big time. Yeah. I never wanted to do this <laughs> event business ever again. Yeah. Ever again. So so so, so where are you now with the eventing business? You completely out of I'm that? I'm out of it. Is it done? Never Dan. again. Done. <laughs> never again. Done. <Dan. laughs> Dan, get to you, bro. Dan, get it. So it was that much of a headache. Six feet under the ground. What's cool is I think that the, the, it probably taught you a lot of lessons. Yeah. I think you picked up a lot of lessons, not only just from an eventing point of view, but from running a business. You know, my, my motto, I think it's, it's the one that pushed me because my motto is uh, uh, the triple E, exposure, expands, expectations. So in that, me being exposed yeah. to, to, that, uh, to that environment of business and stuff, yeah. it made me a bit stronger, it made me more exposed and, my, and it changed my expectations. Yeah. Uh, maybe I was, or uh, my expectations were just like in the middle. Yeah. Now like they're up, bro. up here. Now, now they're, they're shooting through they're the sky. Through the Say sky. that again, Buster. That's powerful, dog. It, triple it's E triple is what? E. Yeah. Exposure, expands expectations. That's powerful, bro. Yeah, you see. Now we're spinning so, bars. Dropping, <laughs> now we now we're now dropping we bars, man. Now it's black <laughs> season. It's black it's black we season, we man. in the season right now. Your experience with your partner. Yeah. So that's what led you into exactly where you are. True, true. Where are you now? What are you doing? What is Buster what is, doing? What is Buster what is doing? Buster has opened a company. Yeah. We are friends. We are friends. We are friends. We are friends. Awesome. Okay. So you are fine. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, we are fine. We are fine. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, interesting name because, I mean, you know, actually the meaning of fines, where, where, where does that come? Or is it yeah. play on the word? Okay. Or? <laughs> play with the words, uh, basically do traffic fines, mediation. Okay. So what we help you with is traffic fines, yes. safe ownership. Uh, vehicles. Yeah, yeah okay. vehicles. Vehicles. Okay. We help businesses. Help businesses. Yeah. Help 
individuals. Yeah. yeah. Individuals as yeah. well. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So you said uh, traffic fines. Traffic fines. So what do you do with the traffic, traffic fine? When you say mediation, what do, what do you do with that? So let's say I'm your customer. Okay. Right? Or Gabe is your customer. He's the one who drives that. Let's say I've got, I've got, a hundred, I've got five tickets. Welcome. <laughs> your fines. <laughs> Welcome to your fines. Okay. I've, got, I've got five tickets yeah. I've received over the past year. year. Okay. Okay. Come, so what do I do? Do I come to you? You come to me? Mm -hmm. I used to work uh, at uh, JMPD. Okay. Okay. So I got to gain knowledge of the fines that are regular and irregular fines. Ah. Okay. You guys don't know it, I only know it. <laughs> so that's my business. <laughs> So you, can't, you can't tell, we can't share that. There's some things we can't that's, share. That's okay, so, so there's a difference. So there's regular and irregular fights. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I make money. Yeah. That's how I. That's, that's your hustle. That's, that's, that's so we do, hustle. That, that, that is the secret sauce. That's done. Done. <laughs> done. Yeah, that's like the secret sauce yeah. in the recipe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Bro. Fair enough. Yeah. So I check which fines can be cancelled and which fines you have to pay directly. And then I, I'll try to help you there. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So do you, do you do you do any sort of negotiations? I know that at times you know fines will go to a, a warrant of arrest or or, summons, or, or do you summons. deal or summons or like how do you or do you deal with things at that stage of the? Let me start from the beginning. There are, there are different kinds of fines. Okay. Name three. Okay. The speed fines. Okay. Anna. Which I'm a sure lot of people have. Yeah. I don't actually sure don't have. I actually don't. Sure you have I actually don't have speed fines, bro. I'm good with the speed fines. I'm and actually. I'm and sure. then, <laughs> and then there are hundred two fines. Okay. Where you? They stop. Yeah. They stop you. Then they bring up the, the pad, pad, bro. <laughs> they yes. Huge, they huge pad. Yeah, and then they and then they oh, waste thirty starts, minutes of your yeah, of your, your day. Time. Yeah. And once that starts, it's over. It's, it's over. The, the ticket's done. And then there are the parking tickets. Okay. The way you get it on your windscreen. Yeah. When you're parking at the wrong place. Wrong place. Then yeah. So, let's say I'm driving your car, yeah. and I I speed with your car. The fine, the fine, automatically come, comes to who? To, to you. you. To you. Because you own the car. To you. But I wasn't driving. I wasn't driving. So you can come to me. Okay, to the company, and you can transfer the the fine to me. Oh, she. That makes sense. Okay. But yeah. the handwritten fines, I think those are the ones that are like. The handwritten fines, I can also help with that in a certain period of time. Uh, so, so, so it can't take like five years. So, so it can't take five years and come to me as a like, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, so so everything I guess is, is, is time sensitive, as with everything. Time. So you, you should do it because also you can't renew your vehicle licenses if you have outstanding, outstanding fines. fines and stuff like yeah. that and summons on your name. Yeah. yeah, is that something else that you you guys can help with? If I'm looking to relicense my vehicle and get rid of the fines and clear all of that stuff, can is that something that we are fines we are fines can do can do that? Yeah, we'll save you time. Okay. Because well, firstly, because you, you, <laughs> you don't have to do it. You don't have to be there. Have to be, you don't have to, it's a headache for a lot of be people. Be there, yeah. queue in, and I tell you, it's got like a thousand five. Yeah, there's a go back and a no, I'm cash. Yeah. Yeah. No, we do it for you. You bring the fine to you, like okay, Henry. These yeah. are the fines. Yes, you are the fines. Yeah. How can I help you? Yeah. And then we alert you a month before your disc expires. Okay. And then we do a disc on your behalf. Okay. And then. We bring the disc to you, and Jeez. then you give us the fire, the the, the, the the payment, yeah, the, the payment for the disc. So you're actually offering an ongoing service, an ongoing service of yeah. of making life easier, easier. especially with cars. A lot of uh, for me, it's like a lot of females don't really like cars. They Dude, don't want to deal with fines. They don't want to deal with. I don't even think it's a female thing, Gabe. Everyone, you know how I, I don't mind it. Do you know how I know? When my license disc expires, when expires? Well, no, when I get stopped, in only the stop you. <laughs> <laughs> only the stop you. That's when I find out. So, so what what we are fines are doing is clearly just making life a lot easier. I think a business is always trying to get something and try to make it easier for uh, the customer, the client. Sure, it can't be harder to 
to consume or to <laughs> utilize. Yeah. So, so you're basically solving a problem. I'm solving a problem that... Absolutely. The best businesses solve problems. Simple. And the question is, are you passionate about the problem? I'm passionate about the problem. I love solving problems. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> this business that you're in right now puts you obviously in contact with lots of people all the time. And yeah. I know Buster's a people person. <laughs> He's always wanting people around him yeah. or having people around him. So that 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 fits right into your triple E's, the exposure side of yeah, it as well. And and um, look, I think you're doing great stuff, and I think it's it's really different. I think you're the only person I know who's doing this type of business. Especially the mediation, bro. Yeah. That, that I've never heard of. Yeah. No, I think there's uh, quite a few companies now. Yeah. It? But uh, at the moment, we maybe we're like four or five companies. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's, that's, a, that's a niche market. Bro. Yeah. You, you got a big pie still. I've got a, <laughs> got a big chunk of the pie. <laughs> well, let's so go there. And, and, to, to the whole pie, because yeah. we literally, uh, uh, I just don't want the, the size of the pie. Yeah. I'll, uh, uh, get this, I want the, the in, my own ingredients and make the dumb pie. That's right. So good like an entrepreneur. No, so good like an entrepreneur, That's proper words of an yeah. entrepreneur. Yeah. At the end of the day, there's, there's kids out there here in, in Soweto, everywhere in fact, all around the country, yeah. who are thinking their ideas won't work or they won't make money. But if you're passionate about it and what you're doing solves a problem, it can clearly end up being a something that's, that's, that works right. That a becomes your livelihood. Yeah. In every situation, yeah. there's a, an opportunity. Yeah. So if you see that opportunity, say you can make money of it, or you can learn uh, out of it. Okay. That's so if it doesn't work, go. you must learn. You must learn out of it. Yeah. Simple. So in other there's no failure. There's, there's no failure. There's the only lesson. And growth. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Quick question. Would you go back to your 9 to 5? <laughs> if you give me uh, an opinion, maybe. Okay, so, so, <laughs> so, never, so you're never going back never to a 9 to 5? No, I couldn't think, Would you say you're running a successful business now? What stage would you would you put your business in at the moment? It's still in the... I say in the... It is stages because, okay. yeah. but it is stages. It's growing fast, okay. and so it's moving into the growth phase. The growth yeah. phase. Okay. It's still, it's still in the. Okay, yeah, growth phase. Yeah, we yeah. will, we will put that curve <laughs> in the curve, <laughs> curve. <laughs> and then because I think I've been in operation for like three months. Okay. Yeah. So I've managed to sign two hundred and twenty uh, clients. So what? In three months. Two hundred and twenty-three. You've been busy, most pastor. Two, 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 three. <laughs> so guys, think about what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Measure it up with what he's done and achieved in three months. So two hundred and twenty-three. Yeah. So my aim, my aim is to sign about hundred, hundred, no, ten thousand clients in a year. Okay. And well, you're well on your way too. So, so that's your goal. That's my goal. Okay. And maybe I, 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 I'm looking at fleets mostly. Okay. So that's my main goal. All right. We're at the position now, obviously, yeah. where we have the ability to, to you know, help young people like you yeah. with ideas that are changing them, yeah. helping them grow. I mean, you're you're. You're living your life based on doing what you love right now. You're running a business. You're you're your own boss. Um, have you started employing people yet? Uh, not yet. Okay. I'm, I'm, I was thinking after my after signing my first eight thousand clients because okay. I'll, I'll have a lot of uh, workload. Yeah. That's when I need help. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. So you've done two hundred and twenty-three clients. One man. One man. One man. Ah, you're spying on fun. Yes. Are you, are you hustle? Are you putting the word? It's, 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 it's just, hard work pays off. Yeah. yeah. Hard work that's pays what, off. That's, that's what it is. True. And I can guarantee through those people you've already signed, they're people who believe in your business. They're so you're going to get referrals. referrals. <laughs> well, word of mouth. Word of mouth, absolutely. True. Guys, that's a place form of marketing. Yeah. Word of like, mouth. Yeah. Put in all your marketing efforts on word of mouth. Every, every single person out there watching this can and should contact Pastor. In, 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 in essence, because you either know somebody who's got a car, you've got a car yourself, you've got, you, fines. You've got, you've got fines. Or you work for a company that has a fleet. A fleet, something. 
Come on, something. come on, guys. Let's help grow SA. Let's help young businesses. Let's help young entrepreneurs take it to the next level. I think, Basta, you're doing great, great stuff. You can sign me on as one of your clients. That's official. <laughs> you, can, you can put the company when our fleet comes in. We're <laughs> straight on, we are fine. I don't want to deal with stuff like that, dude. Yeah, like, I don't want to be the guy time, sitting time. on, ah, now I need to go and renew the license disc for the truck so that we can have camera equipment out and for the trailer. Yeah. And no, dude, I just want to work. Bro, I want to do work. what I do. So, so other people can do what they exactly. do. And I do what I do. So you do what I do, I do what I do, and everyone is happy. And everyone is Everybody happy. wins. <laughs> Everybody wins. <laughs> Everybody eats, <laughs> eats. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. <laughs> Just to wrap it up, we're going to have, obviously, Buster's contact yeah. in there. I'd like to say shout out to you, bro. Oh, big ups, big ups so on, on what you're doing. Big ups on the hustle. Congratulations on getting this far. And I think, you know, let's take it to the sky, bro. Well, your story is, is it's impressive, bro. Yeah. To go from three months starting something that you believed in, you didn't back down and you have 223 clients to prove it yeah. bro that that's Crazy. amazing bro that's big up i think you're going to change a lot of the young people's lives in your in your community but also in SA, uh, bro. you're going to yeah. touch a lot of guys so yeah. thank you bro Thank you, Vince. Oh, I want I want to be flying out of Joburg and see that that we are finds billboard <laughs> yeah, at, at, the, at the airport, bro. We're just gonna be here somewhere. Yeah, well, soon, we, oh, let's start here at home. Yeah, bro. Here, this is home. where we grew up. Yeah. One, you see that Soweto Tower there? One of those yeah. towers. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we are fines. We are fines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soon, <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> Call Buster. Yeah, <laughs> We're gonna uh, push your business as much as we can. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Let's let's grow business, bro. True. Let's 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 get people talking. Let's get people motivated and able to do things and yeah look at people like you and believe that you yeah. know it's possible it's possible it's possible guys. yeah uh not not uh not not every door that's closed is locked just so keep knocking keep knocking keep oh, knocking kick it down bro keep knocking keep oh, kick knocking it down, keep knocking <laughs> i'm just not, not opening <laughs> the door. There you go. You heard it, and I think, dude, that's a perfect way to end. Kick the door <laughs> to, to, to end the show, man. So you guys know what to do. Off the record, in its new, um, new almost formats. new format, new home. We're coming to a business, to a person, to near you. To a city. Uh, near hit you. us up, yep. Buster. Let us know if you guys on your side who want to get on this. Problem, the yeah. more people we have, the better, because. It's gonna, spread it, the word, we want to spread yeah. the word. We want to help people grow their businesses. Let's let South Africa know what what everybody's doing, and that we're actually taking it into our own hands and making a change ourselves, man. Just do it. You guys know what to do as well. Like, subscribe, follow, comment. You know the whole. Um, you'll get our Buster's details in the description. You'll see us a lot more on social media, right, Gabe? Yeah. So we're in that space, we're, we're pushing, pushing hard in that pushing space hard. as well. Our off the record channels, check them out. Our personal channels, check them out. Social media, so we're talking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. TikTok! You know, you know, TikTok! <laughs> TikTok! Yeah, so from our side, one deuce. Two deuce. Double deuces. We are yeah. fine. <laughs>